In this video, I'm going to be showing you step by step how you can service your very first AI automation client as a beginner using a real world example from a real client that I've signed in my business and that I have delivered the services for. I'm going to be walking you through and showing you the behind the scenes of how I was servicing this client for the specific type of chatbot that they wanted and going you through all the phases of planning, building, deploying, reviewing, and, and eventually handing over as well. So you're gonna to get to see the entire thing and this is going to be very helpful for any of you who are looking to start servicing clients with an AI automation agency model. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna throw in a little bonus module for you guys, uh, showing you the exact methods that myself and my company have been using to up to 5x the revenue per customer. So all of that in this video, let's get started. Now, for those of you who are new to the channel, my name is Liam Otley. I have my own AI development company and AI automation agency called Morningside AI. We help businesses both large and small to create brand new AI applications and new AI powered products. But we also come into businesses as an AI automation partner and build things like I'm going to show you in this video to apply AI to every aspect of the business to increase productivity and at the end of the day, increase revenue. Now you may have noticed the interesting background. I'm actually on the island of Aruba in the Caribbean for a few more days. I have a marathon this Sunday, so please wish me luck for that. On the screen, we have an outline of the process of servicing your first AI client. Obviously, signing comes in as a, a, a prerequisite, a point zero zero. And then we have planning, building, reviewing, deploying, and then finally, how to 5X your revenue per customer, which I'm gonna be sharing with you at the end. Now, you obviously can't service a client if you don't have a client to service. So I thought I'd touch on this now briefly just to sort of let you guys know what I'm working on uh, for you guys so that you can actually start signing your own clients. I wanna be 100% transparent with you guys and say all of my leads right now are coming from YouTube. Uh, but in the process right now, I mentioned this in my last video, I'm working on a lead generation and cold outreach method that uh, once I've got working for myself and I'm able to prove that it's working, uh, not just because I've got a YouTube channel and because of my personal brand, but because it's actually a good system, I'm gonna be ready to share that with you guys in the later video. So now we've seen some early success with it already and you can expect the video on this pretty soon. Uh, so you wanna be subscribed and hit the bell so you're notified when it drops because after all the knowledge you're gonna get in this video, you're gonna be so ready to sort of backfill it with the information on how you can get a client and you've just got to got the full scope of how this business model works. Now, I assume for most of you guys, this is going to be your first client. So when you're going into this, be aware that you're kind of looking for the low hanging fruit here. Uh, you're not trying to sort of bite off more than you can chew, especially when you're green and you're, and you're new delivering these services. I would say stick to the chatbots like the ones I'm gonna show you in this video. There's a few different variations and it depends really on the industry and the niche of the client you're serving. There's a, a range of different things that you can provide depending on each niche. So, so ideally, you're gonna be picking a business that can benefit from what I'm going to show you because this is a specific example of a uh, outwards facing chatbot that can cover a number of bases and provides quite a lot of value to a customer and to, and to their clients as well. As I said, there is gonna be a video coming on this, but if you want to uh, get your teeth stuck in right now, we actually have a bunch of really hungry people in the Discord that I'm hopping on calls with every week. Uh, if you wanna join that group and you wanna get in there and start bouncing ideas off, those people are kinda a little bit ahead of the curve because I'm in there a bit more often and I'm able to help them and sort of push them in the right direction. Now the link to join is going to be in the description. Once you're inside, you're going to get free access to the workshop calls that I do and the free weekly Q and A's and also rub shoulders with other people who are starting these businesses too. And for you guys to all share information and I can even get in there and help you guys out a bit too. Firstly, of course, you need to identify the client's needs and figure out what value you can potentially provide with a chatbot like this. Now, now for the case study client that I'm going to be showing you in a second, they were looking for a chatbot that's sort of outwards facing and it can help with a number of things, including firstly, lead nurturing, where someone comes onto the site, they click on the chatbot and they get sort of help to find the right products and services that match them in a personalized way. Secondly is lead capture. So you're able to take them through a conversation. You're able to collect a bunch of information about their intentions and what they want to get out of your service and out of your business. And then you can sort of hit them with a, a lead capture, capture their email or phone number. Thirdly, you can push them to a conversion event like an external landing page or a, a, a link to book in a call or something like that. And finally, you can provide top tier customer support through a custom knowledge base feature within the chatbot. Now again, to be 100% transparent, uh, this client was signed on a $1,000 payment. This was discounted to that price based on a case study rate, hence you are seeing this right now. So this would typically be sort of two to $3,000 project, but because this is a case study, I discounted it down to $1,000 because I really wanted to show you guys something behind the scenes. And as you can see on screen here, here is my Stripe dashboard. I had some people uh, chirping me before on my previous videos about uh, not providing proof. So here it is, I've refreshed the page. Uh, Morningside Ventures, which is my company in Dubai. Here we have 3000 dirhams. You guys can do the calculation on that and that comes out to $1,000. So uh, obviously you're gonna blur the customer name for a little bit of privacy there, but here's my Stripe dashboard showing that the payment has come through. I was able to go back and forth with the client and figure out those four different things uh, that we could provide value to the business, which is essentially what your job is. Your job is to come in as a, uh, as a consultant and figure out and analyze how we can reduce expenses and increase ROI or 
increase the revenue of the business by applying these tools. So this chatbot is going to cover XYZ basis. It's going to help you in XYZ ways. So that is your job to identify them and help them get there. Now, I will mention that this is just one type of chatbot. There are so many different ways that these things can be applied. It can be a, a content generation system. It can use a custom knowledge base to do this and internal use, external use. There's so much. I'd say for your first client, maybe look to stick to something similar to what I'm building here, just so you have the sort of handbook on how to deliver it and, and the thought process behind it. Now that we'd figured out the kind of functionality and value this bot was going to provide, I had to request the requirements from the client, which in this case, I had the custom knowledge base requirement of uh, the aspect of the chatbot that's going to be able to answer questions off a knowledge base. So we sent that over. It was essentially just question and answer, question and answer, question and answer. Then I had to go back to the client and have a conversation and say, okay, these are our objectives. We want to get these done. What kind of, how does that look in terms of a chatbot? So we can control the conversation quite a lot. We can set up buttons. We can set up this, this, this. What kind of information do you want to be collecting from the customer? What kind of direction do you want to be pointing them to? What conversion event, etc. So once I'd got that information from the customer and figured out roughly what he wanted to do and where he wanted to take the conversation, information, etc., then I was able to take that to a Figma board and plot it out. So Figma, Figma is great for this kind of thing because it's going to allow you to quickly draw up a nice little diagram of how the conversation flow is going to go, the questions that will be asked, the information that's captured. So I'll show you here on screen actually a quick example of the Figma. What you can see on screen here is just the top line of the chatbot. I didn't bother doing the entire thing because it was a fairly repetitive process. But what you can see here is it starts, what brought you here today, martial arts for myself, martial arts for my child, etc. Why are you looking for lessons? And this is explaining how uh, the, the conversation is going to go, what information is being captured and then down here you can see this is sort of the open loop of what would you like to know and this is going to be querying the knowledge base so uh, this is a rough breakdown of it I was able to show the client to this and then get validated on that and say yeah that looks good some of these texts are made up by myself they're just placeholders but they can easily be changed later on once it's been approved you're ready to move on to the next stage of building now for this client my tech stack was a combination of bot press as the base of the chatbot controlling the logic and the sending of messages but then combining it with stack AI via APIs to add the sort of more complex functionality and better knowledge base querying. Now I can give you a quick look behind the scenes on what this chatbot actually looks like in BotPress. As you can see, it's, it's fairly basic, but this is because I was able to condense a lot of the uh, logic down into a big JavaScript if else block. So that was able to save a lot of uh, a lot of visual clutter on here. So we have a couple of things. If you're new to BotPress, you have what's called nodes. Each of these allows you to sort of do a bit of um, logic inside of it and then you can direct the the conversation with these transitions so we have uh, messages that you can send we have information capture which is going to give them options and you're able to save these to variables and and so on and so forth so I, I don't have time within this video to do a complete breakdown of all of this but i will give you a quick glance at it typically it's you send a message and you capture some information based on that decision you're going to route them to the next node you're going to do it again uh, ask them another question, capture the information, and then transition it. And based on what was captured in that uh, in that particular variable, you can uh, set it as the next message and, and do logic based off of that. So you have these custom, um, custom code blocks that allows you to set the next message. Um, and then finally, the sort of meat and potatoes of this application that really makes it an AI chatbot is this, uh, this big column here. What happens is once the conversation has progressed far enough and we have a bit of information from them, we're able to essentially ask them if they want to be pushed to the conversion event, which is to a trial page to book in a call. Here we say, would you like to book in for a trial? Sure, tell me more or no, I have a question. If they have a question, then we go through a knowledge query, which we have a, a knowledge base over here filled with the client's uh, Q&A information that they sent me. And if that fails, we have a, a fallback essentially to a stack AI block. Here you can see we have a, uh, a API request that you can set up using the custom code blocks. And if stack AI still can't answer the question using GPT-4 or a language model that's better than what BotPress offers, uh, then we say, okay, I don't have an answer for that. Can you please try again? So that allows it to open a, a sort of infinite loop up where the customer can ask as many questions as they want. And then after each question is answered, it pushes them again to that conversion event. So, hey, I have a question, this, this, this. Okay, well, here's the answer to it. Uh, would you like to book in a trial now? Or would you like to move forward? Would you like to go to the landing page? So that's how this thing's set up. It captures information along the, along the uh, question tree. And then once you get to the end, it's trying to push them to the conversion event. Now, what I'm setting up here in the near term for a V2 of the app is going to be a, a lead capture. So it's going to take that information that we've taken, uh, taken from the various steps of the conversation, and then ask for an email, or ask for a phone number, and then we've captured all of that information. Now we have an enriched lead with clear intent, and you have sort of a nice little package to, to start email marketing to or SMS marketing to. So very, very good, very cool. And, and this is the, this is the bot press side of things. Now I can show you quickly the stack AI side of things, which is just a basic document search using a GPT 3.5 turbo. And then I'm able to call this as an API via bot press in order to give a, a better knowledge base query than what bot press offers because it's not
not that great. As I said, I don't have time in this video to go through every single step of that bot press build, but if you want to get more information about it, I will be sharing it in workshop calls in my Discord, so be sure to head through there and you can get a bit more information and talk to some of the other people who are building them right now. It is a little bit of a learning curve to use these new tools, but it's 100% possible for people if you're willing to put in a few hours, essentially. Now, thirdly, once it's been built, you're ready to give it to the client and start the reviewing process. So uh, I typically like to send a, a testing link, as I can show you in a second. BotPress actually makes it very easy to deploy this to a, a URL, and you can send that URL to the client, and they can give it a give it a test and really stress test it. So tell the client to get in there and get their hands dirty and really stress test this thing, figure out what works, what doesn't, and then give you a big document of feedback, give you some screenshots, as much information as you can. I'd say avoid going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth on this. Just say, hey, give me one batch of iterations, I'll work on it, and then you can go back to them, hey, try it again, and do sort of batches of iterations rather than constant communication, or you're gonna have a nightmare of, of, once you have lots of clients on hand, you're not gonna be able to maintain that pace of communication. Back in BotPress, to quickly show you how you can send this over to a client, so it's super easy. All you need to do is head to uh, the integrations, click on web chat, and then go to pre-configured, and then you can copy this, open up a new tab, and there you have it right there. So. Uh, this is the chatbot that you can start to use. You can say hi, and then it's working as properly here. So we have the buttons down here, and etc. You can go through the conversation. Once you've gone through the review process a few times, maybe tweaked the prompt on your Stack AI side, or you've uh, tweaked the knowledge base, etc. You've gotten it to the point where you're happy with it. Now you need to get into the deploying stage, which is uh, you're going to need to get them to create a BotPress account. Once they've done this, they need to add you as a collaborator. This is all available on their FAQs and, and on their website. Once you're added as a collaborator, then you're going to have an option pop up in your dashboard that allows you to. You transfer it over to them and then once it's in there you can continue to do little tweaks for them but essentially it needs to be on their account so that you're not going to get billed for it and then sort of their responsibility after that then in order for them to actually be able to add it to their website or add it to whatever uh, platform that you're trying to integrate this into you need to go back to the integrations and see here you have all these different options again you're going to web chat pre-configured and then this uh, script URL here is what you're going to take you can copy that and they can add that onto their website and it's going to pop up uh, the same as this little thing down here a very very nice uh, easy to use uh, UI and it pops up like this so you can actually control the CSS and styling of this that's sort of an advanced thing for another day but just know that this is how it's going to appear on the site and you can change it eventually if they want it and with that you've serviced your very first AI automation agency client now of course it doesn't really count as an agency until you've hired people on but you've done it as a freelancer and you've started to learn the skills the experience you need to become an AI automation expert and finally as promised I'm going to throw in this little bonus module of how to 5x your revenue per customer using the exact methods that I use in my own business every day in order to 5x your revenue per customer you need to start doing upsells I know this might seem obvious to some of you guys but there is a little bit of a knack to it and foremost you need to start using chatbots as the Trojan horse to get into these businesses to earn their trust and then from there you have a great position to say I've proven that I'm an AI expert and I've helped you with this now let me add Analyze the rest of your business and identify other areas that this same technology can help or even easier upsell after something like this which is to go hey I've just provided you with this bot would you like an integration that's going to take these leads and connect it to this or do something with the the queries that you're getting to the custom knowledge base and let's do or do you want to set up an analysis system for the questions coming to the custom knowledge base and say how can we start to analyze the questions that are coming to the custom knowledge base categorizing them and figuring out what are the most common queries we're getting? Why are customers not able to find that information themselves on our website or in our email confirmations and things like that? So really taking a deep dive into the business and then beyond these specific kinds of chatbots that are outwards facing towards the customer, what about internally? Do you have a bunch of content that's sitting around doing nothing that we could utilize to help your team generate more content like that? So you really need to start to come into this as an AI automations expert and start to say, we can do this, we can do this, we can do this. And business owners want to save money. Business owners want to make more money. So if you can tell them that you have a concrete way of doing that, then they'll love you for it. And the last two points here are really the gold standard of these AI automation agencies that we've started to move into as a company too, which is to do full business audits and workshops with companies and say, we are going to come in, we're going to analyze you from head to toe and figure out what you're good at, what you're bad at, and where AI could augment or even eliminate tasks completely. Once you have 10 to 20 of these different automations or deliverables that you can provide to the business, it's a very easy sell to go to them and say, it's obvious that we can help you in so many different ways that we can either scope and quote you on each and every one of these or we can save time on our end and save you money in the long run by working as partners and coming on for, as a monthly retainer and then before you know it you've got a couple clients paying you three to eight thousand dollars per month to come on and constantly work on their business to improve it with AI so that's the entire servicing process that myself and my team typically use now 
What you're probably looking to know next is how to sign your first AI automation client, which is a video that is coming very soon. As I said, I'm working on the processes now. And once I have that sorted out, I'm going to be uh, showing you guys firstly how to pick your AI automation agency niche. Secondly, how to find the potential customers within that niche. Thirdly, how to contact pitch and close those prospects and finally how to price your services at a fair rate and finally if you're looking for more information on ai automation agencies be sure to subscribe to the channel join my community discord in the description where you can rub shoulders with other people who are hungry and going after the same thing as you and you can also subscribe to my ai newsletter called the drip which is sharing the hottest news in ai and also my thoughts on ai automation and little tips and tricks that i've got for you guys that is all for the video guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one